Tenzi koso warini Musa timashika Moyo yedu ya neta Nekumbumirira Yanza yo taura ne mananda Champupuri ne kufufuta Kudeo kwa Europa Kurana kwa maru Jesus is coming Lift up your thunder Loud let it ring The final conflict With the evangelist maru four Kwa zuhai wadiwa watariri Kwa muri mese tunokuchinga mzee Kuchuro ngu wachenyu The final conflict question and answer segment Mu question and answer segment tinopindira mvunzo yenyu ya munenge maita after my presentation the final conflict series pada pane zva munenge musina kunzwisisa pamungada kujekeserwa feel free to send through your questions eh tichatora mukana uno kukudairai tichiunza ma presenters akasiana siana kudaira mvunzo yenyu muchikamu chinocha nasi pane mvunzo yakati wandei yakabuda pama presentations apfura E, akaitwa na evangelist marufu eh tinokuruzi like tumtarise zvirongwa izvi pa facebook ne pa youtube channel ye blafuel sda church mone ma presentations iyi regaiti chingamidze evangelist marufu but achati batsira nhasi kupindira mvunzo yenyu wa marufu chingamidzai vatariri vechirongwa tinotenda kwa zvai e, vatariri vechirongwa mwara kuitira zvakanaka right em um, pa ma series ya pfura taka discussa e, nyaya ye great disappointment ya 1844 tikapindura kuti zvazvabva pa prophecy ya Daniel 
Ndokubwa ta furi amberi tika wona kuti pakazo papane vanhu vakavaripo vana William Miller nana Ellen White. Ndokuzoona kuti vakawana chimwe chiedza chakaramba chifurira kuzosvika group iro rozondo forma yatakati Seventh Day Adventist nana 1863. Now baka baba chitanga kuti mwe mvunzo manje. Yakati wandei wa marufu. E mvunzo wokutanga ndiyo kuti Wana Ellen White nana Mila ne wangu wawo wanga wakati wandei e vaibva kuma church akasiyana siyana taka understand kuti ana Ellen White vaito vaku church hands methodist vamwe vaku ma baptist church vamwe wanga wane zvawanga vanzwisisa tichitarisa church tinoti it's a community of believers who confess eh uh, could Jesus Christ is their lord and the digital authority is coming from from Christ um vanhu vakabva vaita confusion much kuti chakazoita kuti vana vachimonotanga imwe church iwanga nedzimwe church dzaunga achibva madziri what kind of church does Christ want to find on earth what is the con- composition of this new earth chakazovava vana kuzonotanga imwe church chaimbo vachi Okay uh tinotenda i think pane confusion pamvunzo watu wayo because now when we talk about church we only have one church um from god uh so kana tine vamwe vari kuti pane church pane church eh takufana kuongorora manje because ma church ano vaita maviri church ya mwari ne church ya satan hazvina basa kuwana kuakaita tine church ya mwari ni church yemuvengi jesa ndoti nzira dzacho imbiri yakapamama ne net so pfungwa ya mwari ndeye kuti since tiri kuona ma churches um ari kuwanikwa after reformation post ne reformation yakaitika after period ye dark ages we vano zia church history kuti church yakamupira period of dark ages tobataona ma reformers vana Martin Luther vana John Wesley e eh, vakomana vesa mm. so mukatarisa muchaona kuti truth was scattered mm. was luther anga asina full light mm. wesley anga asina full light luther aitenda mu righteousness by faith mm. in jesus christ mm. uh, wesley ari kuti wo uh, go in christ through reading the bible mm. ma ana baptist ari kuti mungaba badzidzwe achinzo vamvura mm. capacity to sprinkling so tine ma baptist apa tine ma methodist apa tine ma 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 luther in here yeah. tine john calvin ari kutenda munyaya dze prayer mm-hmm. sa so, tine ma calvinist apa mm-hmm. ava ruti na prayer ava ne baptism saka so, the truth is scattered mm-hmm. so purpose ya mwari pana 1844 mm-hmm. kunganidza vanhu vanhu vakaungana zvisho saka so, the truth was brought together mm-hmm. kuti shigadzira now the remnant mm-hmm. church one ya mwari ine enda mberi saka church ya mwari i one panyika pana kunyangwa akawanda zvakaita we only one we only have one church of god inofana kuchitariswa manje kuti ndeyi because the devil is manipulating the mind of men kuti muna asaone the true church of god right ndo panobva mvudzo chipiri mabva mataura mimi kuti church ya mwari is the remnant tikaenda kuna isaia anenge achitaura kuti the lord has left us a remnant Eh tikaenda kuna revelations de chinzwa zve kuti the devil went after the remnant in these last days there is a time of widespread uh, apostles but mwari ani ngachita call out the remnant achiti it must be holy eh pane ngachita ura ipapo ani ngachiti here is the patience of the saints pano dzoka anda kuwana Vano ti eh, they have the commandments of God and they have the testimony of Jesus Christ. How does one identify the remnant church? Okay, as in it because tagara eh church ya mwari yaka iiswa mbibili shock. That's why it's in a bible. Why it is now confusing many people. Inye kuti vana vasikwana nguva yekuverenga bible. Bozi mwari akaisa chokwadi chese ndo kana njudza vanhu kuti usati waenda ku church mm. tanga watsvaka chokwadi mm-hmm. chokwadi chezo kuendisa ku church ye jesa anoti vaite vatsene eh yeah. e, mushokwadi eh yeah. shokorenyu mm. izokwadi 
Saka, the truth is only found in the Bible. Yes. Saka kana one achida ku identify uh, the true church of God by birine ma characteristics. Achu saka upendra mvunzo yoguti ndio zia seven ndio read the Bible. By birine ma kupaji ma characteristics yoguti church ya marindebi. Okay. Um, mvunzo wakazo kuda pe kupetsira. Do a good tea. Matara and me good tea. Marani chichi majet. A tese to Sanganiswa as a unit in the body of Christ. And the church is one body with many members called from every nation, every kindred, every tongue, every people. All equal, sharing the same faith, same hope, adopted by God to be his children. But it can go on one thirty three of the heart. And 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 one spirit, one hope of your calling, one faith, one baptism, one God. And it, the papi part was what we are not following every wind of doctrine. And it, why all these churches are all these people going to be lost? Can I not tanga and ripana? Did she tend them one body of Christ? Dashate. Okay, just ano tower bana John chapter 10. Anoti ndizi mama kwa ya ndi nao mm. Kasa ta pinda mudangarino mm. Na ewa anafana kuya mm. Rota bokari mwe mm. Ne mufuzi mwe Saka bokari wan mm-hmm. Mufuzi wan mm-hmm. So um, Ukaona Tatanga kutita mapoka akawanda mm. Patu wa mistrias mm. Patu wa niringwe simbara kushanda mm. Jesu achiporo fita mamusoripe church Mubukura mezi Anoti did not call in your petrol, made which of the sixteen. Pam Soro Pervaro, the Chavaca Kereke Yang Masu Ea Des Angai Kundi. So Mukatira Mashoka Tashan is on a Jesuit Papo, Church in the Aki, Church in the Aki. Saga Yoga and Bagus Yaw to Rim Board of Christ. Tasa would church here when I found a watch on Dian. Ukango was in the Akatangana Ning, found a way in the Ning. I was in Board of Christ. Urim board of that prophet, mm. Urim board of that elder, mm. of that apostle, mm. church, they are Christ. And I know that the young women must swear this. I am going to go out to Papa and establish Papa Dombo. Kushkiranas, Ichiri Kochichio, and you're going to pour a shinior and book of Ephesians and about to take a walk of a sorrow, penny of apostle. Christ Jesus, I mean, Ari Ibu Rebacona. He is the chief cornerstone. Mm. Of that church, do I argue in Bissau Nichols of Tor? Sanga says, We are in Yepera. What we need to do, let's go back and read my characteristics. Mm-hmm. A good church, I'm one base, you say. Mm-hmm. How do I know? Could in the image of Yamara's net? We read the Bible, it will now teaches you. Could you know from say? Number one, church, the founder of that church, and for longer, Jesus. Uh, number two, Kaveringa Peter, Anoti, Makata eh, Nerwaiso. Mm. Uh, that's first Peter chapter two. Kuti Christ Jesus, Aga Kutambu Zigirai. Mm. Aga Kusira in Fananizo. Kuti Mutere Makwara Aki. Mm. Kuro Church Kana found out Ari Jesu. Ino Zizisa Futi Makwara. Mm. A Jesu. Mm. Tofana Kufamba. Mm. Sema Fambira Yakata Jesu. Ukawana Church Yaku Zizisa Wano Kufamba Sa Prophet. Mm. Vagu Tiriva Nama Prophet. Mm. Vasiriva Nama Jesu. My cards, my placards, whatever. So if I'm not taking it, I'm not going to get it. So Christ, I got to see them for them. So number one, the founder of the church is Jesus. The teachings of the church. Patrick, for them, they are for them. So for them, they are for them. So when you are Bible, you are not going to be a Christian. You are going to be a Christian. You are going Sana chechi ilu kufana kukona kukazira ma believers. Mm. Aka fanana. Mm. 
na Jesu mataoriro mapekero majigiro it's Christ mm. eh tikapinda mna Jesu tikatarisa mm. Jesu anonzi na Luke chapter 4 eh akasvika pa Nazareth pa akangarerwa akapinda musina kugunezwa re sabata mm. seja aisita mm. that's powerful God just tsika yake mm. mwomfananidzo ndo kuti aenda kuchechi nezwa re sabata saka number 1 the founder is Jesus mm. number 2 my teachings Arudzera mm-hmm. nokuna Jesu. Mm-hmm. Number 3, Jesu wacho aichengeta sabata. Mm-hmm. Ndo aitwa tsikake. Mm-hmm. Kwa kale kazvinzi ari musina goku akapiwa buku mm-hmm. ya mprofitaiza akaipetenwa. Mm-hmm. Saka mama kwa ra Jesu atinoona ndiye kuti kuti Jesu aiverenga Bible. Mm-hmm. Saka church ikati ndiye mwari. Mm-hmm. Ikati inotenda muna Jesu. Isinda ndokuverenga Bible. Yarasika isiri mbodo of Christ. Mm-hmm. Because the body of Christ ya ita feed upon the word of God because no zvikoti akaverenga buku ya mprofitaiza. Uyu uri kuverenga Bible uchida kuzama kuunganidza kuti ndezvipiko ndikaona see kuti ndiri ndiri muchechi ya mari ukaona iye Jesu acha chi commissioner pana Matthew 28 anoituma kunopharidza. Mm. Anoti kumarudzi ose. Mm. That's another key. Anoti ndemuno sitsa marudzi ose. Kwa kuti chechi ya Jesu inowanikwa kumarudzi ose ikangonza Africa yedu. Hazimarudzi mm. ose. Hazimarudzi ose. Kana iziko ku China. Mm. Iziko ku Asia, iziko ku Europe. Aisiriyo. Hazimarudzi. Ai inofana kuti ide mission yekuti tiri kuti kwadzimwe dziri kuti isi sitakatungwa ma Africa. Mm. Iye ndingowana kwa Zimbabwe ine kuwana kwa bedzi bamutare. Mm. Uka kuvha mutare uchipi ndokaita kubhinga haisi siku. Wauto tsvaka ku Aisiriyo. Mm. Church ya Jesu inowana kwa at every station. Mm. Kuma Chinese iriko. Mm. Kuma whites iriko. Mm. Kuma Africans iriko. Mm. Church ya Jesu inwane kwa kumarudzi ose oso anoti kana maenda make disciples mm. chechi ya Jesu inogadzira vadzidzi ukaona church isagona kugadzira vadzidzi mm. isi gadzidzi chechi gadzira vadzidzi ukarenga eh, Acts chapter 5 verse 42 inotaura vana kureka kudzidzisa mazwa ose zva Kristu Jesu mutemberi kana mudzimba dzavo mm. ukaona church chingodzisa mutemberi bedzi mm. isi ngaende mudzimba dzavo mm. chechi yarasika Rose mm-hmm. bairi commissioner iri kuenda kunodzisa mutembere yoenda kuti kunodzisa mudzimba bairi kudare iri kuita make disciples mm-hmm. but my disciples are ari mudzima ndo mukudzi mune ukaya akarasika anouya mm-hmm. oita boka rimwe nemfudze mumwe so uri kutora sezvo chisa ino bvanze ndai kana vatenda babatidzai mm-hmm. cheje Jesu no babatidza mu mm-hmm. <laughs> mukutenda mu death and resurrection of Jesus tine macheje akawanda iko zvina zvinga babatidze vano mm-hmm. so uri kutarisa sezvo and you are you are looking around and see my characteristics yeah ano chikubatsira manje kuona kuti church ya Jesu ndo mandirere mm. you can read and read and read and understand mm. ah tinokutenda iwa marufu ne kuya kwa maita kuzodaira mvunzo iyi ninge chinetsa vatariri vedu apa ndo paperira chirongwa chedu eh tinosangana futi muchito kama chinotevera tinokurudzira kuti mutarise zvirongwa zve ma presentations eh the final conflict kana musina kunzwisisa moti tumira mvunzo yenyu isu tigogona kuipindura tino kutenda iwa marufu and may god bless you our viewers till next time god bless you
Nichiri kufunga ndiye Diri kuimba nguwa tese Gerudo rukuru wake Ndapone swam Gero para kere nye nye Ndapone swam Shendi chiri mwana wake Dichamu wona mambo wangu Do itamu temo wake Achiri kundi tunga miram Dakara kumusha kwa ke Ndapone swam Gero para kere nye nye Ndapone swam Shendi chiri mwana wake Chiri po chiri mba kudenga Chino ni miri raini Tichai ndange kukasika Kumusha wake watenzi Ndapone swam Gero para kere nye nye Ndapone swam Shendi chiri mwana wake Lord, you know my wicked nature. Lord, you know my sinful stature. I can hide it from my friends, but you, Lord, read through my heart. Lord, you know my wicked nature. Lord, you know my sinful stature. I can hide it from my friends, but you, Lord, read through my heart. Forgive me, O oh Lord, wash away my sins, create in me, God, a clean heart. Forgive me, O oh Lord. Sins creating me, God, a clean heart. All the things you do in secret, all the things you do alone shall be known when He cometh on that great judgment day. All the things you do in secret, all the things you do alone, not when he cometh on that great judgment day. All the things you do in secret, all the things you do alone, not when he cometh on that great judgment day so help me to be faithful lord help me to be true so i may be an example and lead many to christ so help me to be faithful lord help me to be true so i may be an example and lead many to christ <laughs> Dreams are shattered down 
Hope is gone, your future is bleak You have no one to lean on Well now, oh yes But there is one who loves and cares for you Someone who is always there His blood is there to make you whole And set you free yeah, yeah. He will mend your broken he will make you whole again. again. Yes, he is the one who will turn your soul, your soul into joy. All right. He will mend your broken pieces. He will make you whole again. Yes, he is the one who will turn your soul into joy. All right. He will mend your broken pieces. And he wants to be your friend You can turn all your wishes to reality Trust in him Your breakthrough is at the door Oh, 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 yes If it turned water into wine and made a highway in the sea I know you will do something for you Above all, he will restore you Only he To song. He's the one you're painting to parade. He's the one. He is the yes, one. He is the one. You will surely be the one. Yes, he is the one who will send your you will turn your sorrows into joy. Into joy. Jesus, I 
Doda ni zira odira muta Doda sika onditambira Dobudiri raje seja jesu Domte wera kwa no enda Ditewereku Shika magumbo Ku magumbo Ku magumbo Jesu anoti Ditewereku Shika magumbo Jesus died upon the cruel tree Just to save a wretched man like me Not because I'm worthy of his blood But because he loves me so Hallelujah to the King of Kings Hallelujah to the Lamb of God Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah to Emmanuel If it wasn't for his sacrifice I would never have eternal peace I am ever grateful for this deed I will ever praise his name Hallelujah to the King of Kings Hallelujah to the Lamb of God Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah to Emmanuel Jesus came to save you and me Don't you want to have eternal life? Give your heart, your soul and all to Him He will give you peace and joy Hallelujah to the King of Kings Hallelujah to the Lamb of God Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah to Emmanuel Sendi tore, 
Kala, Hamuhe, Huya, Hotteru Salema, Nuzi, Motu, Motu Yokala, Hamuhe, Huya, Hogunina Hulila, Hotteru Salema, Motu Yokala, Hamuhe, Huya, Hogunina Hudiswa, Hotteru Salema, Motu Yokala. Jerusalem, Munzi Mubotu, Botu Yokala, Hangwe Kuya, Bogunji na Guji Swa, Jerusalem, Botu Yokala, Hangwe Kuya, Jerusalem, Munzi Mubotu, Botu Lindila, Waga Bambi, Wandi Swagu, Swagu, Machari, Nilo, Anji, Gatu, Gatangale, Ajesu, Jerusalem, Jerusalem, Oh Jerusalem, 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 Jerusalem,
set time I was searching for peace in some void I was trying to blame all my ears in this world I was in Safest relationships use me Till I was done here And all the time someone was waiting to free me from sin Come, my man, 
we shall be gathering glory in land Humming the victor's band We shall gather in glory in land Yes, the land of purity Fitting with the dead in Christ once more Sin and distress never to more last We shall meet over there With my Jesus Christ Sin is defeated and dark is past Devil destroyed at last We shall meet over there When the wrong, when the wrong is cold up yonder When the wrong is cold up yonder I'll be there Will I see my Jesus? Catch a glimpse of Nell's car When the roll is gone When the roll is gone Yonder I'll be there Will you see your Jesus? Will I see my Jesus? When we see When we see Jesus Christ the crucified For salvation Catch a glimpse of Nell's car Oh my enemy Mananda and Dibata, the widow, and the widow, and the widow, and the widow, and
Asindino simbira pamuchinjiko Pachiko mochie chekarifana Jipo panupa simbaramu Anoni parunyararo Anoni parugare Ane tzitzi ane ngoni Nae ni no so imba Anoni
Tenda iva tereri, mkati mema fiki maviri, triku zidza, nekunzwa noro hondo ya pasta dumba. Taka guma fiki rapera, hondo ya chiririza. Mfundisi, yes. chii chaka iti kapangwa hii hondo. Enderera imberi. Mbwe hondo, zikoro za kange ziri kufaru wa maa. Mm -hmm. Especially my mission. Mm -hmm. Yes, my mission. Mm -hmm. Ya, yeah. zino... Nyazira ya barwa hii. Mm -hmm. Isusu ba officers. Mm -hmm. Takatoru wakundu itwa detain. Heish. Tikanzi muruku supporta ma freedom fighters. Heish. Tikando iswa. Panyazura. Pasta ngari president. Pasta chinyo. Let's mm -hmm. pasta chinyo. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Angari pasta we mission indini. Mm -hmm. Harry Dixon Dumba. Mm -hmm. Angari boarding master, the pastor Chinyoa, mm -hmm. principal, mm -hmm. Angari Mr. Chituku. Zino mm -hmm. taka separate kwa manchi. Mm. Wana Chituku waka isi kwa kurusape. Inini na pastor Chinyoa, taka isi kwa pa Nyazura, eh, police station. Mm. Ndupa taka ngetaka detain wata for a long time, kundebu kudari. Musi nga, musi nga geruwi, musi nga geruwi. Yes. Now, my, 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 world, my, my freedom fighters, mm. why young mm. Yeah. You know, we are the Kanaguine, Mombe, the, the Biwa, the, the Hiwa, Yamasha, I told why you, I hope you go miles in borders, and the Chi, I, Dimu, I was support, I, yes, yes, Takai, yes, 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 Every day, Wanungo garao, mm. wachingo chengeta. Mm. Zikanzi mission field nga inche enda kwa harare. Alright. Masona ilo. Yeah. Di 1977, wendi yeah. kutara nesake. Hondo jitu riza. Hondo liku riza. <laughs> yeah. Then, pasta chinyoa, neni, mm. tisu takau ya nezi important ze field. Mm. Kuyana zomuno mua harare. Ma joki minza achu, zese. Zese, zino dikano hati. Zakanzi takwai muye na zo. Masunungur wa imi yeah. ma, 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 ba kumapurisa muye, masunungur wa imi. Ah, masunungur wa iduzo kumapurisa yeah. oku. Pana wakati wira kuno wakati wa ziku tindu wa nani. Uh -huh. Tasi taka sunungur wa. Hmm. Tasi ka muno, mission field haina peku, haina nzimbo. Eastern Africa Division, no, Trans Africa Division. Do you know what I'm saying? Yes, I'm Federation. By New Lens. By Two Princess Drive. Yeah. Yeah. Paka we are Trans Africa Division. It's in Baku South Africa, yeah, in the Southern Africa Division. Go to Federation, Zirusana Kiza. Yes, I'm saying. Yeah. So, I'm going to go to the country. And I have a division called Pure Print Room. I have a big print room. I have a big print room. I have a big print room. Just a, a few days, I have a big print room. I have a big print room. I have a big 
ndai ndai bata zengeza hunyani seke right ngwa dzanda kanga ndiri muno munana 73 kwanga kuine high field ibadzuko ndio yanga iri ko high field ndio yanga iri ko bus wanana glen view wanana ni wesa wanana ma ese ma new township says i anga siko wena nga riri dondo kwese anga riri dondo yeah anga riri dondo na utili paya paya pastor chinyo wakagashira message kuti mm muri kutsvakwa yes na ni manje aiwa komana Oh, are you what is a go America? Yes. Do pasotor wa moyo manje. Ellen Moyo. Ellen Moyo. Yeah. Kwa kuchizo tswa kwa nzimbo. Ndiyo kuti field iende pane murungu akatengesa yake stand yake. Yeah. Panga pa ine zi building ina kira nga ya bala hai gara imba yake farm house ya mani ya imba yake ya mtaonde. Ndo ya kazo wa office ya field. Ya. Ku waterfalls. Ku waterfalls ya. Pa hili pa na 4th on road. 4th on road ya. 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 Ndo pa kaji zenda. Pa ni kuti president ya nga ya nda zi chinyo. Chinyo. Muyo kwa zi zino. Papo ya kushanda ipapo. Ipapo ya. Mwe wanga wanga ariko wa kwa high field. Yonga ma maybe ma church elder I don't know. Mhm. Mtoro ande ya vice wa president. Ya president. Yes. Yes. Ya. Papa sina training ya ku ya kuni kusolusi. Then 77 ye yon. Mhm. Na umna December ndiye wanda gashira call manje yekunzi ndiye ndi ku South Africa kunoshanda ku Bethel College okay. Transkei. Mm. Yeah. Muna February kwa wanda enda ku division kwa kupa matsamba nenyi zvese kwa kukwira chitima sindakasi anda tengesa kamota kangu. <laughs> kwa kusheda ku South Africa ni chitima tikatondo pfura neku Kimberley ikoko eh ku Kimberley kwa kwa diamonds kwa diamonds kwa kwa ane zigombara chori kuona nasi ari ari ndori kuona nasi kwa kuenda kwa kuenda ku Bethel College ku Transkei mama rure ri pa pomanje ah ndato ane wana nasi saka muri makaenda nayo muri ese kutakura kunze ko akuru wacho manje Wakuru wakanga waenda kuma kuma Congress. Okay. Wanga wanga watori. Wanga watoru wa. Eh wanga watori kuma sango. Eish. Ngo yatanga tiri pa pa nyasira mission time ne hard time. Kuma na wanga kuenda kusango. Eish. Kuti muati ah au nchango ni kwa tao ra uchiro. Eish. Wachi wongo enda. Eish. Yeah. Ma enda Bethel. Eh ndaka enda kundi ka ndaka sha ndaka sha ndako six years. Hmm. Ndika zo. Diri koko. Moyo manje uchi ndi ti ondi nyorera manje kuti ushamwari uya kuno mm. tine mission yedu ruya mission mm. yakange yatorwa ne dotito council mm. zvino vakuti hati zvechikoro hati chachigoni e, gachi chipoa hacho church mm. zvikanzo zvino kune mpriest kuno father anane we roman catholic ari kutotaya kuita kutochitora chito chikoro ichi mm. Zvino huya utibatsirane. Mm. Ndopa ndaka chizvo bva ku South Africa. Ne zvino zvangu zvese ndaka kwakahewa Bidalf yakanditakura mm. from Bethel kundosvika pa Royal Mission. Mm. Zvino zvangu zvese ngwa. Zvino moya hana kunditaura kuti hapana imba. <laughs> Uruzona. Ndojisi. Angoti huya. Wati uti huya. <laughs> Ndosika ba ba principal mandi yo ondi bvunza manje ndiwa ani wewe ndikati ndiri pastor domba eh what is it ndikati 
Dauya. Dauya. Dakani zidui. Shikanzi kuya kudini. Yes, he knows nothing about it. Ko. Ndikati pa ndikati wona phone era pasta pasta moyo. Ndito kandi dai dzaut ndi uye pana. Hey. Ko phone era pasta moyo. Shikanzi my go ti pasta uye pasina imba anogara papi. Zvino kwa kuti kwa uchiswa mu cabin. Hey. Ai dzia cabin ndi rugadzirwa muno nziya. Hey. Apa muzvinhu zvese zvabva zvabva ne bid house zvipanze zvimwe uba zvando zvakatotsaka kune amwe empty classroom zvoiswa imomo zvese yeah wana wandi nawo kwachigowaniswa kuma teacher kuti kuti wasika nawo nenda uko wakoma nawo nenda uko oh yeah 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 ah ndoto garangu mukebe nemuya zvita basarangu Dona na na yo na ye mu priest yo am priest yo pa vada ana ne ya ye ano tara show na ngem mu tema ye to taura to taura zikanzi nini ndine wana wangu wana upinda roman catholic church wari pa chikoro chenyu muno abvumira ere kuti wauye kuzonamata mse sondo Aji bawa kaka chechi kake paduze ipa mundo funga na nasi kachipo. Bawa kaka chechi kandi kata hati nwa bumira. Neishi. Ndiya. Hakuna haka zenda kawa na waya isto bata ita strong evangelism. Strong evangelism. Hata haku wababatiza wana waya. Wana waya wabutu da visa wadu. Hata haku wababatiza. Ya. Ya. Wada hata naka shatri wako. Haku go pinda bazi ni tu chembele bazi wana. Munga chechi kake kake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then that was eighty four, nineteen eighty four, nineteen eighty five. Now nineteen eighty five, go garwa footy direct general conference division. E yo bea change wa punzi aichiri trans Africa. Yakuzonzi Eastern Africa Division. Yeah. Yeah, by a by a can get you Kenya, go Nairobi, go by a way of mono. Yes. But my Kenyan Zakaram Bar will shut it while no that division, yeah. But yeah, yeah, mono. That's right, yeah. Then in eighty six, when I January. Kwa bandao ya kusoshanda pa division. Dakata nga ugara ku Eastly. Kuzobayo. Pa division mama kuchia imanji. Danganda kundi field secretary. Wow. Ya. Shino na basarangu. Pange pa ita problem. Ye ma work permits. Ye warungu. Wanubu wako ni zimu inyeka. Zimbabu yanga ene mutemo. Wekuti. Hakudika anu imu na anu bwaku na imu inyika. Kuti aite basa. Rino gune kwa ne wano wari munu. Do ya ngeri problem ya chiri. Warungu waya waku nye mama pemezi. Meno waka mko sajista kuti dai zaidu mba. Ina andina umbu senza kuyuni edi. Ina umbu senza kuyuni. Kwa banda waya kubasaria. Zino. Zaka zoi tikange shukuti. Nda mubasarangu imomo. Ndo chifamba famba nekunyezi ma problem. Ndaka zeta discover kuti. Wange wari kunetawa. Wakange wari ma students. Aka itu kwa mistreat ne ma missionaries kuma mission. Wange wari kutzole la manje hitting back. Wako wanyima ma pemizi manje. Ya. Yes. 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 Sekanda itu ekta is the president or a union as in this the president in title actually the chairman. Chairman. Wow. Wow. Saka dos asaka ita kuzodakara 
Dagazopapa Division, 1995. Mm. Danga, and I'm ready with early retirement. Mm. Pastor Matema, we coke cheap, wava, pa conference, much. Going to America. Going to America. She can see conference, I eat in a president. Do Pandashi told her, Major, could do a president. Could it a president, Papa, for nineteen ninety six, ninety seven, ninety eight. Do Pandaka, that in the retirement. something, Chima Pasta could tease field, district Wafund <laughs> Panyazura mission to pay up. Nine years, Diripo. Nine years. Nagasu is all papo, the two thousand and seven, Monad December. Yes. My queen, that would tell me. That would she say, Yes. Wow. Ha! What a very monogon out in the Ranami could teach you chocolate. Tine history at our Naku Bakumura and our for the past three weeks. Muritime in Dania Zino. Mfundis. Muruku itei. Muruku pi. Eh, eh. Wanu wangada kuziva. Tichenda kuno pendera. Ok. Mm -hmm. Now, mu retirement. Mchechi medu. Hakuna retirement. <laughs> Chukwa di. Kutetu kwa retire. Semoti gari. Eh, 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 uh, and this is now uh, district work. You could you know, a district, you could pass away district. The Akungo and Oku Church is a member of the church. Mm -hmm. But the Chibat Sira Manche, but Kanka Pashidikanwa, Kupariza, Kutrena, Pashidikanwa Kutrena. Mm -hmm. Pashidikanu wako ode na ma elders, kana kwa ita ma election, ne ma dikoni, ne yuzese zo, zine ita na kuti, ma step sasho taka ita, there was a time when I was a dikon, usolusi, there was a time when I was an elder, ngoya ndanga ndiri kukwe, kudivision, taka tito ringo, cheche highlands, Yakanga is she lead one orungus. My wame shurungu bazi, mamusina the sona. Saka in Indagasaru go one of the elders. Tangatina passed away to store that son, I bako Finland. Saka would dig on the gaita, who elder and the gaita, who food the sum gaita, who passed and the gaita, Saka do basiro, this and I won't am Katimima. Amen. Occupation, you mabasa. Amen. Watereri, wanga da kuziwa, de zipi zwa munga wa kuru zira. E zino chenchi kufamba ne dingi ndira, rinoti au go. Mm -hmm. Taka mbira kuya kwa jesu kwa chipiri. Mm -hmm. De zipi zwa munga kuru zira, nengo wafundisi kupinda mkatime basara mwari. Ok. Mm -hmm. Basa, re chenchi edu, mm -hmm. rino tora thiri. Ministries, it's a kind of one of Pones Ashiripanjika. He was a teacher, he was a preacher, and he was a healer. Amen. Amen. You know, in every country, Canada Shida Unyasoku is Tishita Zereza Kanaka, Gaku and Emma schools, Gaku and Emma churches. Gaku in a hospital, in a clinic. Amen. Yeah. Amen. You know, in that respect, Munika Muno, 
kuya kwa ita machech mm. nguwa ye makolonist mm -hmm. machechi akange achien ita ma areas mm -hmm. yoguti kuna na darwin ndoko kaenda salvation army mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. uko ndoko kaenda roman catholic church mm -hmm. kuna na mtare kuna na mtare ndoko kaenda mm -hmm. oma methodist mm -hmm. Yukumuachenda wa wachida. Mm. No cheche li suksu. Ino enda kwese. Kwese. Yeah. Mm. But we failed in this country. Mm. One. Dakambo ezo. Dishiri mbasa kuti. Mm -hmm. Taka pinda. Kunyazura. Mm -hmm. Manika land. Mm -hmm. Taka pinda. Right. Asi. Atina. Kumbu isa osu. Koro kuchipinge. Hmm. Atina kuisa zvichikoro kunyanga. Hmm. Ngwe ndakange ndiri kunyazura mission. Ndakange ndichivhura ma companies hmm. ama chechi ama hacho hmm. zvine izvo ama chechi. Hmm. Ndakatombowa ne privilege nekuti chechi andakawaka kunonzi kumangoromera. Hmm. Ndakabatsirwa nemumwe murungu ane prize ipapo. Hmm. Murungu uyo anotie. Aka uh, ana kutorera wa prazi nekuti akati nini ndoenda kupi. Mm. Baba anda andi na opanawa. Andi baba wangu chayo waka mm. ndita adopt. Mm. Baba wangu chayo na mayo wangu chayo ande wasi. Mm. Jino pana haba ndopa ndilo toti ndopa mshapangu pano. Mm. Saka haka cheker wa portion ye, ye 40 hectares. Mm kuma kwese kuti bako atorwa ako zvino murungu ye anotaura shona saka daito gara naye tichitamba tichitaura shona mm. gwenda ka waka church aindi batsira ne tractor yake na drive akutakura mazvidina mm. kutakura majecha mm. kutakura mvura zvisina mm -hmm. peiba zvisina kubadara zvisina kubadara mm. then kune imwe section Ye prazi yacho kana wine imwe imba yaigara manager we farm. Mm. I ari kugara pa 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 baba pa pa igara na baba. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Zvino akandi akandi ofa kuti alright ye ita new clinic. Mm. E, pa pa mbai akuma dili ora kwese uko ita ichikoro. Mm. This a request ku conference woramba. Mm. Alright. Uko ku 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 chimani mane mm. dichenda ku chimani mane uye ndichenda ku chipinge pane pamwe pana mambo akambo anemwa akambo funda ku solusi mm. afunda ku solusi pakacherwa mugodi achibva putsikira mugodi imomo mm. hana kukwara hana kufa mm. Zino, wa, mwana wake ndiye anga chief akakumbira kuti uya imuite oyo chikoro kana something kuno uko mm. ndichionza request hapana now ndadai ndichi kunyazura mission ndakadaidzwa kunyanga kupfura mazikomo enyanga mm -hmm. yakoenda mberi mm -hmm. kuduze ne Mozambique mfumbi Pane nzimba mm. yakanga iripo payo mm. kanga paine chikoro wakanga wari kwa wakachikoro chakati mm. kwa ma, ma buildings amwe achanga asina kurufinwa wabva wazopera mari hawachina plan hapachina yekuti mm. waite ndiyo chiti watora enyu chikoro ichi masabata mm. why nekuti ndakaenda iko kondadaidzwa kundo chatisa mm. tikaita muchato Waka uya wano wazhinji waiko kwaiti hatisati taona chinonzi muchato wechechi mm. hatisati taona muchato wechechi waka uya wakaona muchato wakanaka zvikanza chikoro ichi chitora ichi chikoro ichi muite chenyu ndoya ne request uko yorambwa mm. zvino up to now mm. chine wano ane mari mhm mm wari muchechi medu ba members mm -hmm. all those areas dzinoda zvikoro zvakawanda zvakawanda mm. kubohera mm. mambo nyashano wekare akatumira ma messengers akaenda ku Loa Gweru 
Kundo kumbira kuti kuitwe mission cheche yakaramba kuti tatina ono kuende sai koko. Zvino evangelism yetiri kuita ndenyi. So tine mikana panguva dzino yatinofanira kuramba tichishandisa. Eh zvino zvino uya takango gara edu asi Umo wandaka andiru uko, kubapa wanyazula amishi ni kuenda kundo shika mberi kwesu uko kune no go area. Isimbo lina church, haina ba church. Umo wandaka ifu amba na pasta garwe, wa waine district ye goro monze hii. Kune mapoke zaarimo umo anoda wa church. Kuna wa mwemai wa hitu ita ma effort. Wa shito tidai zati shena hundo babatiza. Aso harumi wakango garaba zimu zimbazo. Amen. So, tuliko wana watu wa tereri, tichine basa, mukatime mzibo yedu ye Zimbabwe East Union Conference. Ino chaka iwe, ino chaka inini, kutitirambe tire mbasa. Mfundi, tichipe zisa, tichakumbira uti buti na matire. Muna matire sangano, ni ma opportunity za ripo, kutitima shandise. Tina matire mfundi. So, yuka tina matire. Babo yedu, wariku msoro kudenga. Musikiwe matenga matene, nenyika, zua mwezi, nenyere zi, nezinu zose, ziri maziri, zikuru nezidiki, zinooneka nezisinga oneki, zipenyu zinora rama nezisinga rarami, zese zaka sikuwa nemi, nesimbare nyuguru, kunengu inga kwe nembiri, neru kuzo, nesimba, Neru ziyo, ne umambo, unogara, ne kusinga peri. Tinota anda, ne wara anda wenyu, wamaka tuma kufwako miri kwa makungwa, wakawe ya nefangeri mnika muno ye Zimbabwe. Ne basa resera kanaka rakaitwa, asitri kuona, mgret commission ya makatipa, kutienda mpa sirose nefangeri, mundo pari zaku maruzi ose, Tichine zimwe, zetisa takwa nisa kujitite, kana zetisi likuita. Tine mkana, mkana ulipo mguwa ino nyikayane freedom. Takufana kuita, zese zetino oda kujitiu, vangeli rifambe. Batisirae waranda wenyu, warimukatime masangano. Wanema means. Sangano rino richatanga kunyikaye kenani. Kwa kakikwina warume wakaita sana banabasi. Wakatenge sama prazi hao. Kutikuwa ni kwe marie kufamisa vangeli. Kufamu nika esai prasi. Ni wame wa shinji wakaita zwa wakaita. Kuti vangeli rifambe kwenda mberi. Wanechi ilo. Shegu ziwa kuti mbasangari itwe. Kutikuwa kwenye kwe kuno kurumiza. Makaraira kuti mruku ya niku kurumiza. Saka mwika edine Zimbabwe. Kumbura ima conference edi etina opano. Ma conference muno kumwa Zimbabwe. Ma union edu. Kuti wawe ene muono, wape muono, mwarimu ya mchene, washandiswe, sewa shakaitu wa wanana Paulo, ne wame wa wanana Banabasi, ne wame wese wa wanana Peter, ne wame wa apostles. Inga mae mprostori Thomas, haka nosika kumadras, ku India, kusatikuwa anendege, kusitima, kana chingine tsoka. Saka wanu wana, wari muno, sanganurenyu, ripe imwe ya wenyu, kutibasa irifambe mberi, Kwe ni mwea mishiji chapo niswa. Nukuti mnoda kuti mwea yese ipo neswe. Uwesa nangaita saru zo yake ya kanaka yiko gashira jeso kristo sampo nesu wake. Kombore la ima sanganude tina umukati migute ya rogure harare. Kuti mfamba vangeli rifambe muno. Vangeli ribude riende kumaprazi. Neku neminda mirefu kwese. Kwe kuinuwa ni kwa kuine masangano. Nezikoro pazunike vishidika anwa. Ministry ye teaching ne healing isese zuwe zuno itwa. Ne literature evangelism vangeli rifambe. Kue ne wa shiju wa chaponis. Kwa dae mati komborera. Kune muono iwo yo. Kutubu itwe. Kudakwenye kuitwe panyika. Soku msoro kudenga. Mbili neru kudzo. Zipoe kwa muri. Tona mata kune mwe msara tenzo edu. Na mponesi jeso kristu. Amen. Amen. Tuna kutenda matere rinenguwa. Ne mafiki matatu watangati na mfundi sudumba. Mwari kudenga titile chakanaka. Tisanga meje panichi mwichirongwa. Missionary story. Amen. Inzo chesu odaiza. Diani osewenza. Minda yesu.
Nobody can stop him. I am going him. No, who, no, who, nobody can. Yes, I'm going my way. I, 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 Nobody can stop me. I'm on my way. I'm on my. I'm on my. I'm on my. I'm on my way. I'm going. I'm yeah. Don't you want to? Don't you want to? Jesus, please come fast, come fast. Lazarus is sick, without your help, he will not last. Mary and Martha, watch their brother die. Oh no, they waited for Jesus. He did not come. They wondered why. Oh, the death watch is over. Somebody say the death watch was over. He was running late. Somebody say the Lord's on his way. He'll soon be here. But the last one is it. No, no, Lord, if you had been here, he would not die. He'll still be alive. So four days late. Oh, hope is gone. Lord, we don't understand why so long. 
is God's way. Is God's no choice of mine. No, no. Isn't it great he's when he's four days late? He's still on the time. Now, don't be discouraged, don't be discouraged, you may be fighting a struggle, a war, I am Tenko Sijesa, we are born in King Ayako, we are born in the Mirk, we are born in King Ayako, we are born in the Banda, Kosi Amna Kosi Baye.
wonderful, wonderful day, day I will never forget. After I've wandered in darkness away, Jesus, my Savior, I met. Oh, what a tender, compassionate friend. He met the need of my heart. Shadows dispelling with joy, I am telling He made all the darkness depart.
Father, I greet you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. It's my prayer that I find you well, and I pray that I find you in health. And so February, being a month in which as a church we're emphasizing on family life issues, I saw it befitting that our sermon today be on a family life focus. So the title to our discussion today is The Ten Commandments of the Marriage Covenant. Now when you go through your Bibles, there are several covenants that you are bound to meet. From the book of Genesis right up to the book of Revelation, the Bible is strewn with different uh, covenants of various sorts. Among the covenants that one is bound to meet when they go through the Bible is the covenant between God and humanity. And this covenant is broken into two. We have the old covenant and the new covenant. Now it is interesting to note that in both the covenant between God and his people and in the covenant between marital partners, there are some privileges and obligations that are found in each uh, covenant. Whether you consider the covenant between God and man, or you consider the covenant between marital partners, these two uh, covenants entail some privileges and some obligations. At some point, God made a covenant with his people. And this covenant that God made with his people had some privileges. These privileges include, included his promise to bless them as their God, to give them the land of Canaan, to send them a redeemer, to reveal his will, uh, to reveal his will to them and to make them his chosen instruments for the uh, conversion of the world. So these were some benefits that people were supposed to get by a view of the covenant 
they had with God. And the obligation on the part of the people was that they were to keep the commandments and observe them faithfully unto the Lord. So the Lord was going to choose them as his people, bless them, watch over them, send them a redeemer. And then in return, he expected that they all keep the commandments holy and faithfully observe them. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse number 6 to verse number 8, talks to us of the covenant between God and man. Now the discourse today is on the covenant between marital partners. But in order for us to understand the covenant between marital partners, I think it is needful that we consider it from the perspective of the covenant between God and his people. The Bible reads in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 7, and verse uh, number 6 going downwards, the Bible reads here, For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen you to be a special people unto himself above all the people that are upon the face of the earth. So in verse number 6 of the book of Deuteronomy chapter 7, we meet the Lord choosing Israel above all the people that are on the earth. So he was making a covenant to them, making a special covenant with them that they were to be his special chosen people. Now verse number 7 says, The Lord did not set his love upon you, nor choose you, because you were more in number than any people on the earth, for you were fewest of all people. Listen to verse number 8. But because he loved you, and because he would keep his oath, which he has sworn unto you and unto your fathers. So the record says here, the Lord never chose the people because they were, they were more in number than any of the people in earth, on earth. Because in, in, in instance, uh, Israel were the fewest of people compared to the people of their time. But they were chosen because the Lord loved them. So in verse number 6 up to verse number 8 of Deuteronomy chapter number 7, we meet the Lord making a covenant with his people. I need us to read chapter 7 again, verse number 12, <clears throat> going downwards, the Bible reads here, <coughs> Wherefore, it shall come to pass, that if you hearken unto the judgments, to keep and to do them, that the Lord thy God shall keep unto thee the covenant and the mercy which he swear unto thy fathers. So in verse number 6 to verse number 8, we meet the Lord establishing a covenant with Israel, choosing them, not because there were many in number upon the earth, for there were fewer than other people, groups that could be found on the earth. But he chose them because he loved them. And when you get to verse number 12 to verse number 13, the record says, Now the Lord shall keep this covenant with you if you are careful to do the judgments, to do the commandments, all the instructions that the Lord has given unto you as a people. So when we go through uh, the book of Deuteronomy chapter 7, we note that the first part of the covenant, the Lord is giving some privileges of the covenant. But when you look at verse number 12 going downwards, he is then making a requirement of the Israelites in order for him to keep his covenant with them. They were to keep the commandments of the, of the Lord. They were to keep the judgments, the statutes, and all the things that the Lord commanded. So a covenant, whether it be between God and his people, or between marital partners, he has some privileges and some obligations. The Lord says, I have chosen you, and in return, I expect you to keep the commandments that I have charged you. It is also in the same vein that we need to look at the marital covenant, where one chooses a spouse, where one chooses a marital partner, where one chooses a husband or a wife. So choosing each other comes with some privileges, but the privileges also come with some obligations. When you get married, you have the privilege that you are one in that marital setup. You get the privilege that you share the finances, you share the love, and all sorts of things. But those privileges also come with some obligations. And just like the uh, covenant of God with his people at Sinai, it is enlightening, it is an, an, an enlightening exercise to also compare this Sinai covenant with the a marital covenant that people get into when they get married. Just like in the Sinai covenant, the Lord expected the people to observe the Ten Commandments. We can also apply these Ten Commandments between God and his people to partners in a marital covenant. When you go through the book of Exodus chapter number 20, you meet the Lord giving Ten Commandments to the people with whom he was in a, in a covenant. Thou shalt not do this. Thou shalt not do that. Thou shalt not do this. 
thou shalt not do that as obligations of the covenant that God had gotten into with his people. And in the same vein, my brothers and sisters, in our marital covenants, the Lord also has some obligations for us. And these obligations also come in light of the Ten Commandments. Let's go through the Ten Commandments of the Sinai Covenant and also look at how they apply in the marital covenant that you and I, for those of us that are married, are expected by God to, to, to uphold as part of the obligations of the marital covenant. Now, when you read the book of Exodus, chapter number 20, verse number 3, the record says, you shall have no other gods before me. So as the Lord is speaking to his people at Sinai, he says as part of the obligations of our covenant together is that you shall have no other gods before me. Now let's look at the marital covenant here. Apply to the marital covenant, the first commandment calls us to give exclusive loyalty to our spouse. Just like in the Sinaitic covenant, we're expected to give exclusive loyalty to our God. Even in the marital covenant, we are also in the same sense expected to give exclusive loyalty to our spouse. In practice, what I'm saying is, is that this uh, means making our spouse the most important person in our life after God. It means not allowing such matters as professional pursuits, parents, children, friends, hobbies, possessions to come before our first love. In other words, when we are in a marital covenant, just like in our covenant with God, God is to come first and all in all situations that we experience with him. And in our marital covenant, we are also expected that our spouses should come first. Our professions must not come first before our, our, our spouses. Our hobbies must not come before our spouse. Even children are to be subordinate to our love for our spouses. So standing at Mount Sinai, the Lord gives, uh, makes a covenant with his people. And this covenant uh, came with some obligations. And obligation number one was they were to have no other gods before him. And in the marital covenant, we are to have no other spouse outside the one that we have. In other words, this first commandment enjoins us or calls on us to give exclusive loyalty to our spouse. They must always be after God, the first priority in our lives. You can't be too busy at work to the extent that your wife comes after your profession. You can't be too busy with your hobby to the extent that your husband comes after your, your, your hobbies. We are expected that although we might have a lot of important things in our lives, including other family members and friends and children, all those must come second after our wives. Second commandment, the Bible reads from the book of Exodus chapter number 20, verse number 4 to verse number 5. They were enjoined by God not to make for themselves a graven image. So standing on Mount Sinai, the Lord says, Thou shalt not make a graven image for yourself. The commandment goes on, you must not bow down before it, and all sorts that it goes on to say. But the part that I'm more interested in is that the Lord says, You shall not make for yourself a graven image. So this is the covenant between God and God. Let's, God and man. Let's look at the covenant between man and man in the marital uh, covenant. So this second commandment enjoins us to be truthful and faithful to our spouse. We are expected to be truthful and to be faithful to our spouses. Just as we can be unfaithful to God, we can also be unfaithful to our spouses by having a false image of her or him in our minds. So we are enjoined here by the second commandment in our marital covenant that we must not have a false image of our husband or of our wives in our minds. We are expected not to make for ourselves a graven image, not just of God, but even of our spouse in a marital covenant. In practice, what I'm trying to put across is that uh, no, we, we, must, we must try not to shape our partner into our own image of an ideal spouse. We are not expected to shape our partner into our own ideal Im you know, to our own image of an ideal spouse. You know, the temptation is there to compare your spouse to other people you know from church. The temptation is there to have this picture of someone else that you already have. 
and you want to impose the same uh, uh, picture of that person that you know from somewhere else onto your spouse. On Sinai, the record says, you shall not make for yourself a graven image, not just of God, but in the marital covenant, also not of your wife. And in practice, like I've said, this may mean trying to shape our partner into our own image of an ideal spouse by nagging or manipulating or threats or rewards. There are some people that will manipulate you so that you become someone else, who will nag you so that you become someone else, or try to reward you so that you become someone else. The record says, accept your spouse as they are and do not try to change them or to create a different image of who they are. On Mount Sinai, the Lord also gave a third commandment. Exodus chapter number 20, verse number 7. The record says here, do not take, you shall not take the name of the Lord your God in vain. You shall not take the name of the Lord your God in vain as part of the obligations of the Sinai, uh, of the Sinai uh, covenant between God and man. The Lord requested or instructed that they were expected not to take the name of the Lord their God in vain. Now the third commandment, my friends, in the marital covenant summons us to respect and to honor our spouses in public and in private. I love this one. It enjoins us to honor our spouses in public and in private. We're expected not just to respect them in public, but also in, pri in, in private. In practice, I'm trying to say that we are to respect our spouses by showing them, we are to respect our spouses by showing them difference and courtesy both in public and in private. It means avoiding belittling our spouses or cutting them off before the children or on special or social occasions. There are some people sometimes that cut their husbands or wives off before the children. When someone is speaking and then you cut them off and then you correct them. Or you belittle to your spouse in public. Belittle your spouse before the children. Belittle to your spouse on, in social events. The third commandment says you shall not take the name of your spouse in vain. You shall not take in the Sanity Covenant the name of the Lord in vain. And apply to the marriage covenant, this commandment enjoins you and I to respect our spouses, not just in public, but also in private, by honoring them, by respecting them, both in public spaces and also in private spaces, never taking their names in vain, never belittling them, never jesting off and about them before the children or in the public. Fourth commandment in the Sinai covenant between God and his people. The Lord says in Exodus chapter number 20, verse number 8 to verse number 10, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days you shall labor and do all your work, but the seventh day is the Sabbath to the Lord your God. So the Lord speaking, making a request of obligations on his people on Mount Sinai. He says, six days shall thou labor and do all your work. But remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. So he was saying here, in other words, that he needed his time as God. They had six days to work and labor and do all sorts. But the seventh was the Lord's day and he expected them to respect it by giving it unto him as the Lord of the covenant between himself and the people. And in the marital covenant, my friends, the fourth commandment invites us to show our love to our spouses by setting aside a regular and special time for them. You know, in the covenant between God and man, God required that they set aside some special time for him. In as much as they had six days to labor and do all sorts of work on the Sabbath, he was expecting them to come down together to convocate and give the Lord time. He required time as part of the obligations of his covenant with man. And in the marital covenant also, my brothers and my sisters, we are required to set aside some special, not just special, but also regular time for our spouses. Our subject, the Ten Commandments of the Marital Covenant. And in the fifth, uh, fourth commandment, we are expected here 
to set aside some special time, some regular time, some important time for our spouses. They need time with us in practice. What I'm trying to say, this means learning to put aside our work, learning to put aside our personal pleasures, learning to put aside our important things on regular basis in order to listen, in order to enjoy, in order to celebrate, in order to cultivate a friendship with our spouses. You know, my friends, we are very busy people. Both husbands and wives are very busy people. And if you are to focus more on your busy schedule, trust me that you will have no time spare for your spouse. But the record here is saying in the fourth commandment, the Lord required them to set aside time for him. Leave important things and sit down and be with the Lord. And in the same sense, we are also required to leave whatever important thing we are doing. Set some time, important time, special time for our spouses. Leaving our important work, leaving our important uh, schedules, leaving our personal pleasures, leaving things that we deem necessary on a regular basis in order to listen to, in order to enjoy, in order to celebrate, in order to cultivate a friendship with our spouses. My friends, this means especially using the climate of peace and tranquility of the Sabbath to, as an opportunity to draw closer, not just to our God, but also to our marital spouses, spending some time together with them, working with them, relaxing with them, reading with them, appreciating good music with them, meditating with them, praying with them, visiting with them, uh, doing all sorts of things together. So the Lord is enjoining each and every one of us that we spend some time as part of the Ten Commandments of the marital covenant with our spouses, just as we are expected by God to set aside some special time on Sabbath to be with him the whole day, we are also expected to have some time for our spouses. Because as you spend time together, the friendship grows. As you spend time together, the bond grows. As you spend time together, you get to understand each other more and more. Spending time with each other is part of the obligation of the marital covenant. February is a month of family emphasis. And my prayer is that the Ten Commandments of the marital covenant shall also find their way into your home. Commandment number five, Exodus chapter 20, verse Number 12, the Lord says, honor your father and your mother. So the Lord is saying in my covenant with you as my people, I also expect that you honor your mother and your father. So it's part of the relationship with the Lord. There is space for our parents believing or unbelieving. There is space for them. And apply to the marital covenant, the fifth commandment calls us to rightly relate to our parents and to our spouse's parents. So if you are in a marriage and you expect to enjoy it, you are expected by the fifth commandment, my friends, to rightly and appropriately relate to your parents and also to your spouse's parents. Never be too busy for your parents. Never be too busy even for your spouse's parents. I want you to know, my friends, that you must not evade the responsibility toward your parents as they grow old. As married persons, we assume the responsibility of our parents rather than to them. In practice, this involves welcoming our respective parents to our home, of course, without allowing them to rule over our homes. So we are expected in the marital covenant to rightly relate with just, not just my parents, but also my spouse's parents. It is expected of us that we have some time. In fact, opening our homes for visits, both from your parents and also from your in-laws. You are expected by the fifth commandment that you respect the in-laws. Respect them not just by allowing them into your homes, but also re-honoring their, their, your spouse's parents by not making constant jokes about them. You know, there are times when we become too comfortable and then we make jokes of our parents, then we make jokes of our in-laws, our spouse's parents, that belittles them and that breaks the spirit of the fifth commandment of the marital covenant. So we are expected that not just we open our homes to them, but also we have some time to visit them, to spend some time with them, sit, sit some afternoons with them, allowing them to be in our homes without, of course, allowing them to dictate how our homes should be run. There is space for them. If there was space for them, 
in the covenant between God and his people, there should also be space for them in the covenant between marital spouses. Commandment number, number six, the record says, you shall not kill. Exodus chapter 20, verse number 13, the Lord is speaking to his people at Sinai. He says, you shall not kill as the sixth commandment. And in the marital covenant, we are expected to re, uh, the commandment calls us to renounce hatred and destructive anger. There are a lot of families that collapsed because of hatred of a spouse. There are a lot of families that collapsed because of destructive, uncontrolled anger, which murders the marital covenant, assassinates a person's esteem, and destroys the whole thing at the end of the day. So the commandment here enjoins us to renounce all hatred. The commandment here enjoins us to renounce all destructive anger. In practice, this commandment forbids abusing our spouses, not just verbally, but also physically. There are some people that abuse their, their spouses verbally. There are some people even in the church, unfortunately, that also abuse their spouses physically. The commandment, it for, uh, enjoins us to stop abusing our spouses both verbally and physically. It forbids provoking our spouses to anger by criticizing their appearance. It forbids us uh, from provoking our spouses to anger by, <coughs> by criticizing their speech, their actions, or their decisions. You know, sometimes in a marital situation, someone may make a decision that you are uncomfortable with, that you view as not so good a decision, but the commandment here enjoins us not to uh, uh, anger our spouses by, by criticizing their decisions, their speech, their actions, their shortcomings. It forbids nourishing hostile feelings towards our spouses and attempting to throw words or actions to destroy their integrity. So if we are to enjoy our marital relations, if we are to enjoy our marital covenant, because you chose that one, not because she was the only one in the world, but because she is the one that you set your heart, your heart and, your, and, your, and your mind on, and so you are to be faithful to that one individual, just as God was faithful to Israel as a people, and he also expected them to be faithful to him as, as their God. So the sixth commandment here, my friends, it forbids nourishing uh, uh, a hostile feeling towards our spouses or attempting uh, through words or actions to destroy their, their integrity. You must respect their, your, your, your spouse's integrity if there is to be peace and amity even in your marital situation. It forbids harping on past offenses. You know, there are some histori historians I've seen in the journey of life, people that never forget things that happened last year and last year but one. They keep bringing up skeletons that were long, long, long buried. It's, it's an example of killing in a marital situation. So among the commandments of the marital covenant, we are expected not to kill. Not to kill in what way? By opening up some dead and, and, uh, and, and worm-covered graves of the past and being historians, always bringing up stories of the past in order to gain for ourselves an advantage today. So commandment number six says, Thou shalt not kill. And in the marital covenant, you mustn't assassinate your spouse by ill behavior, which might lead to the destruction or death of one's integrity. Commandment number seven, standing on Mount Sinai, Exodus chapter number uh, 10, the Lord says, you shall not commit adultery. So he says, as part of the requirements of the covenant with me as your God, you shall not commit adultery in all its forms. You are expected by God not to commit adultery. The seventh commandment, my friends, summons us to be faithful to our marriage covenant by refraining from illicit sexual acts or illicit sexual thoughts, not just acts, but also thoughts, not just practices, but even thoughts. Because when you read Matthew chapter number five, verse number 27 to verse number 28, Jesus magnified this commandment but to include not only physical act of adultery, but also any thinking of impure act, word, or thought, any kind of impure act, a word or thought, he says, all this also qualifies to be some forms of adultery. So in practice, this commandment calls on us to be faithful to our spouse in our body as well as in our mind. 
Now, there are a lot of people that are faithful to their spouses in their body, but they are not faithful to their spouses in their minds. Yet the seventh commandment of the marital covenant expects you and I to be faithful not just in our minds, but also in our body. Such fidelity involves, among many things, my friends, not seeking sexual experiences outside of our marriages, not allowing the attractiveness of members of the opposite sex to become a deliberate fantasy of intimacy in our mind. Sometimes you are at work and you are allowing the sexual attractiveness of other people of the opposite sex to occupy your mind is the form of breaking the seventh commandment of the marital covenant. It also enjoy, enjoins us to repulse thoughts of sexual lust or perversion and refusing to be sexually stimulated by erotic books, films, magazines, treating our spouses as object of our love and romance rather than as the means of sexual gratification, viewing sex as a gift of God, our creator. So this commandment re requires us, my friends, that we place the idea of, of, of sex and sexuality in its proper context in the marital setting. In other words, being faithful just to our spouse, not just physically, but also in our, in our minds, meaning not watching things that divert our sexual attention from our wives or our husbands, not reading things that divert our sexual attention from our husbands and our wives, not uh, you know, entertaining impure thoughts in our minds, but focusing just on our wives and our husbands. The Ten Commandments of the Marital Covenant. Commandment number eight, Exodus chapter 20, verse number 15. You shall not steal. So the Lord says, I expect you as part of the obligations of this, uh, of this uh, covenant not to steal. You shall not steal. The Eighth Commandment, my friends, enjoins us in the Marital Covenant to live in true community without taking from our partners their right to privacy and their right to self-determination. Do you know that there are a lot of women that could have become powerful business people, that could have become doctors, engineers, but their future was stolen by an egocentric husband who didn't want them to go to work, who didn't want them to do something of their own with their hands. We simply said, be at home, and you, you, you be at home. But here we are enjoined by the eighth commandment not to steal the future, not to steal the abilities, not to steal the potential of our spouse, but also to give them the freedom wherever possible to also attain to their dreams. We are enjoined by this one not to be over controlling, over finances, over all sorts of things that could be found within the family. We are to be free and flexible and not to steal from the other part. You know, may the Lord help each and every one of us. Sometimes as African men, we find ourselves stealing futures. When she's becoming more successful than you, you might feel a bit threatened and for that reason you stop her from going to work or from pursuing a sort of a certain course of study because you feel that if she attains to this, she becomes more powerful, she becomes bigger than me, she becomes this and she becomes that and you end up at, for the wrong reason stopping her from attaining her goals. Commandment number eight says, thou shalt not steal. Commandment number nine, Exodus chapter 20, verse number 16. You shall not bear false witness against your neighbor. So the Lord speaking at Mount Sinai, he says as part of our, our covenant obligations, you shall not bear false witness against your neighbor. So this, you know, should benefit both of us in a marital situation. Apply to the marital covenant, the ninth commandment uh, enjoins us to be faithful communicators with our spouses. Be faithful in your communication with your spouse. It involves respecting our spouse's integrity by not hitting them uh, below the belt or by not exaggerating the truth about them. Saying, for example, you never take my feelings into consideration. You, are always, you always do what you like. It involves learning to understand not only the words but also the feelings behind the words of our spouses. It calls on us, my friends, to be faithful communicators. It calls on us, my friends, not to take advantage by way of words of our spouses in a marital situation. So the Lord says in commandment number nine, you shall not bear false witness. You shall not bear false witness 
against your neighbor. It enjoins us, my friends, like I've said, to be faithful communicators with our spouses, not saying things we are not supposed to say, not doing things we are not supposed to do. Commandment number 10, Exodus chapter number 20, verse number 17, you shall not covet. So the Lord looks at Israel, the people he had chosen to be his own people, and he says, as part of this a covenant with you, thou shalt not covet. And this commandment calls on us to be content and grateful for our spouses. Number one, we're expected to be content. Number two, we're expected to be grateful of our spouses. Because in the marital covenant, the 10th commandment requires us not to covet. In practice, the commandment is saying it is, it is it, this uh, con asking us to have a contentment which is expressed in different ways in refraining from comparing our spouse's talents or performances with those of other spouses. You know, we shall not covert. In other words, we are expected to be content with our spouses. In what way? By also not comparing their capabilities with those of other spouses from somewhere else. You know, in relationships, a lot of relationships that could have led into marriages failed because someone compared their boyfriend to the, to the gentleman next door. A lot of relationships that could have led into marriages failed because somebody compared their girlfriend to the lady next door. But the commandment here is expecting us to be content and grateful of our spouses. We are expected to appreciate their presence and not to covet, not to envy something else next door instead of what you have. So what you have is what you chose. What you have is what you went for. In all the world that had choices to make, you went for this one and you are expected by God not just to be content, but also to be thankful that you have that individual in your home. You are not to make unnecessary demands of your unreasonable demands of your spouses, trying to make them be fictitious uh, figures of themselves, trying to make them be someone else that you have in your mind. We are expected in the Ten Commandments of the Marital Covenant to be faithful to our spouses, to be faithful to them, and also to be grateful and content uh, of them. The book of Deuteronomy chapter number 7, verse number 6, the Lord speaking on Mount Sinai, he says to them, Thou shalt be, for thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all that are upon the face of the earth. Now listen to this one. So the record says, the Lord is speaking to Israel, and I'm hoping that as we conclude, looking at what the Lord was saying to Israel, you also say the same of your spouse. So the record says, you are a special and holy people, and I have chosen you above all the people of the world. When you got married, you chose above all the people in the church, above all the people in the community, above all the people in the country, above all the people that at that point you had access to. And so the record says, because you picked that one among all the people that could have been chosen, you are expected by the Lord to be faithful. I love verse number eight of the same chapter. It says here, uh, uh, verse number seven, the Lord did not set his love upon you, nor choose you, because you were more in number than all the people, for you were the fewest. I want you to know that even when Israel was chosen by the Lord, they had certain features that they did not have, that other nations also had. But the Lord went for them and for them alone. So even the same spouse that you also chose, your husband, your wife, those that you chose, when you chose them, you chose them mindful of the fact that they had certain features that are found in other people that are probably not on them. They, they did not have it all wholesale. But in spite of not having everything wholesale, you went for them and you chose them. So my prayer is that we be faithful to that one and only that we chose. My prayer is that we be content. My prayer is that we be grateful. My prayer is that we apply in our marital setups the Ten Commandments of the marital covenant. My prayer is that every one of them, from the first to the last, be applied both ways, not just by wives, 
but also by husbands. And when we do it reciprocally, our homes shall be great homes, perfect homes, with a perfect union. If Israel had been faithful in their covenant with God, they would in a short space of time found themselves not just in earthly Canaan, but also in the heaven above. My prayer is that your family and, your, and my family, our marriages, may also graduate into the Canaan of heavenly bliss, into the, into the heavenly bliss of wonderful homes that God, I mean, that are in line with the design of families that God had in mind when he instituted the marital covenant. My prayer is that your home may be a little heaven. May the Lord bless each and every one of us that applied in our lives be the Ten Commandments of the Marital Covenant. I need to take time to pray with someone this afternoon who says, Dear Lord, thank you for the Ten Commandments of the Marital Covenant. I think as I go through them, I think I'm falling short on some of them. And I need to begin by correcting myself and also praying for my spouse to also correct their part that our home may be a small Canaan. If that will be your prayer, why don't you bow your head so we can pray together. Let's pray. Dear Father, thank you for the Ten Commandments of the Marital Covenant. Forgive us where we have violated any of these covenants. Our prayer is that each person who might be listening to this broadcast may begin by correcting themselves, not by working on the other person, but by being themselves the right person, compliant to the Ten Commandments, which are obligations of the Marital Covenant, that their homes may be transformed into heaven on earth, their homes may be transformed into little canons. Thank you because you are our Father and our God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We have heard a joyful sound. Jesus saves, Jesus saves. Spread the glad. Yes, all around Jesus saves, Jesus saves Bear the news to every land Climb the steeps and cross the waves All our teeth, our Lord's command Jesus saves, Jesus saves Waft it all the rolling tide Jesus saves Jesus saves Tell to sing the far and wide Jesus saves Jesus saves Sing ye islands of the sea Echo back ye ocean caves And so keep had you believe Jesus saves, Jesus saves. Sing about the battle strife. Jesus saves, Jesus saves. By his death and endless life. Jesus saves, Jesus saves. Sing it so through the blue when the heart for mercy craves sing it triumph for the truth Jesus saves